pitch is always so much different than eventually a script, but um, what she was able to, to convey in a very small treatment, if you would, uh, that this was going to be an emotional ride. There's a war raging on our planet. If this criminal isn't found, that war may find its way here. Is there anyone that can help you? Do you have a family? Oh, who would be? What attracted me to Travis was the fact that he had started a business that was very successful, Leica is a really cutting edge stop motion animation company, uh, who have done four really good movies, which is not easy to make one good movie. Uh, and he had directed the last one, uh, Kubo and His Two Strings, and I'd seen that movie, and that's what got me started, was, you know, I thought, wow, what a movie. Um, and uh, his sensibility and what that company stands for felt right for this project. They're calling an army. I've seen firsthand these things really are. Bumblebee, there is only one way to end this war. You must protect Earth and its people. I know that the depth of emotional response that we're going to get out of Bumblebee is a direct product of the fact that he's worked with inanimate objects. Uh, you know, he's had to coax from an inanimate object something that has personality, if you would, right? In this case, Bumblebee's not an inanimate object, but he is somebody who's sitting in the corner of a barn, when we're, uh, corner of the garage when we're shooting, who's not there. So for Travis to have it so clear in his mind exactly what that character is doing, what he's feeling, how he's reacting, all that stuff, I think once we see the movie complete enough, I think we're gonna be blown away by the level of sophistication in terms of emotional uh, communications that uh, Bumblebee's gonna be capable of.